This first poem is called Somebody Hire a Fucking Assassin and Murder Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and it goes like this. Somebody hire a fucking assassin and murder Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Thank you. The second poem is called My Body Tried to Start a Revolution Once. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. When was the last time that you really let your eyeballs drop? When was the last time you screwed open the top of your head and let your brain breathe? When will all of this make sense? My sober mind is a fountain of jewels. My drunken mind is a fountain of wood. My stoned mind is a stone. The last time I let my eyeballs drop, my jewels changed into wood and my body became a stone. My Fingers are architects. My brain is a manual laborer organizing a strike against my fingers. My vocal cords have armed themselves against the loudspeaker that calls from my stomach. My feet are stolen property which my legs have reclaimed with loud pamphlets and academic articles. My text is no pharmacon because it is already written within my soul. I use my skin as a verb. I use my genitals as punctuation. All of my lovers are phrases and clauses. I am neither I nor we I am undecidable <laughs> so let me ask you a question why does your grocery store insist on reclaiming your childhood why does your television screen insist on becoming a ballot box when will the glass eye of commerce finally reflect the glass eye of our own madness I have decided that I'm going to change myself into a green screen I will lay my body out over the coat rack and stretch my skin across the wall of every newsroom. I will show you the weather and clip our caricatures and Comic Sans numbers, and I will show you clips of the latest genocide and celebrity breakup, and I will show you what your news anchor thinks of your next president. Topical. <laughs> I, will, uh, I will be a New York backdrop for a late night talk show filmed in Los Angeles. I will paint my face with the scores of last night's football game and help you to update your financial portfolio with the latest stock market crashes. My chest hair will be a constant shadow over Russia and China. My belly button will be a crater in Hawaii or in Mexico or in a reservation somewhere in the Midwest. The veins in my arms will begin to leak all over Africa and the Middle East. My eyes will post themselves around every national border. My palms will be large bodies of water and will seize every refugee that tries to cross over them. My entire flesh will be a vision of desire and a vision of war. My body is a textbook written in Texas. I am neither I nor we. I am undecidable. Goodbye, Plato. Your metaphysics are no longer needed here. Goodbye, Ginsburg. Your generation is becoming irrelevant. Goodbye, writer. All of your words have already been stored within every database. Soon, there will be too much language to record in just one more small press anthology. Thank you. Woo.